Hi, and here's the last part of our tutorials on creating this uh, head-up display graphic. So what we're going to add in here now will be some um, glow effect. So um, what I want to do to this is add some, some glow to this outline here so it appears like it's kind of lighting up. Um, let's drag that down into our parent uh, category there. So okay, so uh, we'll come over then to our library, and we'll go to filters and glow, and I'm going to go to the glow option. We'll drag that over, and we'll apply that to our parent category. Okay, so we'll go over to our inspector, and then we can alter here then the amount of glow, the threshold, the radius. We can alter all these different parameters here. So you can play around with this until you get the type of glowing effect that you wish to achieve and once you're happy with it um, that's it really that's that's basically how you apply the, the the glow effect it's really reasonably straightforward um, there's not you know a whole whole amount to it um, so it's pretty easy to do so you can play around with it just until you get the effect that you want and uh, then another thing that I like to add also is in our color correction I'll also drag in a brightness and also a contrast. Now, the reason for that is uh, when we later export this as a generator and use it in Final Cut, you may want to be able to adjust some things like the brightness of this so it, so it pops out the screen a little bit more. You may want to decrease the brightness so it fades back a little bit. So I like to have that parameter available so you can alter the brightness, which also helps to add to that glow effect. Because uh, when you composite this into your scene, these usually work best, these head-up display type effects, when you have a darker background, it helps them to show up. But sometimes you have a slightly lighter background, you might just want to um, uh, be able to up the brightness so it, so it pops a little bit more. Um, now, the final thing we're going to want to do is add in these parameters into our published parameters so that we can alter these easily. See, at the moment, we've got all these kind of complex groups here. And if you want to edit the properties of a specific thing, it can be a little bit kind of tiresome to find it. So we'll add in, in brightness here. We'll just go to right click and we go to publish. Now when we come over to our project in our publish parameters here, we'll see our brightness. And it's really that straightforward. So we'll do the same here then in our um, uh, opacity. We also might want to alter the opacity of it. Um, uh, so in any of these parameters here, you can, you can set to publish. So here's our contrast. You may want to up or decrease the contrast um, of, of this. Um, there's our pivot point there for the contrast. So any of these, uh, we definitely want to, I think, publish the um, radius and the threshold values for our... Um, glowing. So let's go back then over to our project. You'll see then they will show up here. So this will be, um, let's call this glow radius and glow threshold. There, so now we've added those. Uh, now the final thing we might want to do is be able to change the colors of this easily within our um, generator. Now, you, you, you may want to make each individual element editable in its color. That's one option. Or you may want to group these colors together. Um, so let's just have a look at how we can group it together. So basically, we've got three different colored elements here. We've got the red, and then we've got the, uh, the blue and the orange. So what I'm going to do in my parent group here, I'll create a new group, and I'll call this color group one and then we'll create another group which we'll call color group two okay let's drag that in here also so now all of the elements which are this um, blue color and also the yellow color I want to put all of those into color group one. So we'll select that, and it would also be our um, our indicator here. Let's drag those into color group one. 
Uh, the file will also go into, that's uh, red, so that will go in our color group 2. And our gauge here, this is our red gauge, will also go into color group 2. Sorry, we don't want to drag the whole gauge in here, we just want this red part here, so that would be this. We'll go into color group 2. color group 2 uh, and then our gauge will drag up here into color group 1 alright something just gone funny with this so we'll come back and edit that in a moment so uh, what we'll do then is all of the elements which are blue we will make white and all of the elements which are yellow we will make black so uh, we will just go into our color group 1 here it comes to our outer rings so these two circles here which are blue will change the brush color to white and the one which is yellow, we will change the brush color to black. And then we'll go over to our library. We'll get our colorize filter. We drag that into this color group here. And then under the inspector, we'll remap white to blue. And we'll remap black to orange. And there we go, that's basically how we can uh, edit the, the color of our elements. So uh, that indicator there, which is orange, so we would want to make the orange option will need to be made black, so we make that black. Our indicator here also would be black. And then you can publish those two parameters. Um, so that basically is how we make our um, various elements editable using the colorize option. Um, so then you only have to edit one parameter and it will change the color of everything which is below it in, in that subgroups. <coughs> so uh, that's the end of uh, this part of the tutorial. So. Uh, that's just a brief introduction as to how we can go about creating these head-up display type elements. Um, I've actually created a bunch of them. Um, you can see in here, I'll just load up that project. So they don't just have to be circles, you can create um, linear ones. So let's see, let's give you an example of the types of things that I've been creating here. So okay, so you got this. And they're all created in basically a similar type of way. You just draw this onto the screen and animate it, and we add the, the glow effect, and we add um, um, various uh, uh, brush effects to give us the, the, the final kind of outcome that we want. You could also check out some of these other circular ones which I made. So there's the gauge that I used in the watch tutorial. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones that I've created here. This project file is downloadable from my blog. Um, so you just use your imagination, make a bunch of these different head up display type elements, and then you can use them in your, um, in your videos to create some pretty cool kind of sci-fi effects. And I'll be doing later tutorials showing you some uses of these and how we can composite them into your videos and use them. So if you find this useful, please hit the like button, head over to my blog. You can download the project file from there and, uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.